Oh, well, you've um, cheered up a lot of Rovers fans by um, agreeing to joint stay at the club until, until the new year. Was it an easy decision for you to extend your stay? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I've played some games while I've been here and uh, it's it's gone you know pretty well personally and obviously you know, results are improving as well as a, as a team. So, um, so yeah, you know, it was a, it was a fairly easy decision to, to try and stay on for longer and get some more get some more games, get some more experience in them. Well. Have four games as a League 2 player helped improve you at all? Oh, definitely. You know, I mean... Uh, it's about having not not played any competitive games in such a long time um, from my injury. Uh, it definitely, you know, it's a learning curve, a pretty steep learning curve to play league football, proper league football, and uh, you know that's why I'm here. So uh, absolutely, playing playing proper games for a proper team, and you know, that that really matter and that really really are very very important. You know, it, uh, it definitely helps you grow as a player. How much you enjoyed playing alongside Tom Parks at the back? Oh, definitely, definitely. Parks is a good player. You know, and he obviously leads the side. You know, you know very well and. Um, it's uh, it's one of those where the more time you you play with someone, the better you get to know them and how they play and their strengths and their weaknesses. And uh, you know, hopefully that uh, that partnership can get better. Be frustrated to have to sit out against York last Friday. It wasn't ideal. Uh, it wasn't ideal. Obviously, I, you know, I understand why and, and why Birmingham have said that. But you know, and uh, you know, so I get that. But at the same time, it's it's tough to have to sit and watch you know a team play that you you really want to be in. <laughs> yeah, is it is it flattering that Birmingham don't want you being cup tied because it, it bodes well for the future at that Birmingham? I guess so. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's it's nice to know that they obviously have have plans that they don't want to want to be sort of um, you know sort of taken up and uh, you know that, that's obviously nice to know from from my parent club but uh, at the same time obviously you know I, I, um, I want to play so uh, it's tough to not, not be able to play. Yeah, what's life like as a lone player I mean you're very much part of the Bristol Rovers furniture right now and you will be till January do Birmingham keep in touch with you while you're away how does it work? Absolutely yeah they send they send someone to near enough every game that I play for Rovers um, you know with the obviously with their their point of view being to, to keep monitoring my, my progress and to try and to basically make a decision when they feel you know they, they would like me back um, obviously with the with the new loan deal they can recall me um, so from their point of view they're keeping tabs I guess and um, you know they'll they'll make a decision for, for when they want me back and on the flip side are you made to feel like very much like a first team player and part of the furniture here at Bristol Rovers rather than just a temporary signing yeah, well, you know, of course. I mean, when you're here and when you're when you're playing games, you know, that's that's who you are. That's that's what you're here for, and that's obviously that's what I'm focused on. And um, definitely, I mean, the club make you feel as though you're you're here to play for them, and because you are, you know. And so that's that's your job. And um, obviously, we all need to go out and do our jobs. How much are you enjoying playing in front of the Bristol Rovers supporters? I mean, packed behind that Blackthorn Terrace, and they're quite noisy, aren't they? Absolutely, it's a great you know, it's a great place to play. Definitely, um, you know, I haven't played it you know a fair few places. It's a it's a great place to be. There's a massive. There's really quality support especially you know especially in that big stand which um you know thankfully i get to play you know play in front of you know and so it's uh it's good it's definitely they're kicked that get right behind the team really. there's a lot of youngsters at the club i mean you're still young but i suppose when you've got like the tom lockyers who are really coming on leaps and bounds i suppose that your experience is required at the same time um yeah i mean i guess so. i never really expected to be to be thinking that my experience would have to come on when i'm playing so something like my 10th or 11th league game, you know, it's, a, it's a, you know, it's not really a situation you, you expect to be in. Do you feel like a youngster time. yourself, or do you feel, um, you know, that well, def seniors are those guys? Definitely, I, I mean, it's, um, you know, it's a little bit of both. At the same time, you know, you recognise that, you know, there are proper senior players in, in the side. You know, like Mildy is a great example, you know, who has really been about, um, you know, for years and years and years. He won't let me say it, but, uh, <laughs> but um, you know, but then, then again, at the same time, every player needs to go out and, and do their job and sort of, I guess, lead by... You know, lead by doing what they do and, and winning their individual battle. And I guess um, when you've got a game against Berry, neither you or I are an authority on Berry, so how much do you rely on the coaching staff to you know tell you about the opposition that you're facing? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, they're very professional in the way they do things here, and um, you know they have they have the team watched uh, previous weeks, and you know we have uh, our uh, I guess our scouting report, um, you know, from the team that's that we're that we're about to play, and um, you know that's that's how it should be because. You know, it's important to know the ins and outs of who you're going to be playing against, and um, you know, every little helps when it comes Saturday at three o'clock. And Rovers at the moment down towards the bottom of the league, but it'd be nice when you when you leave and go back to Birmingham if they're a lot higher at the table. Oh, it would be massively. Um, there's a lot of games in a very short amount of time, um, especially in this time period, and uh, you know, it's something that we're targeting. You know, are targeting massively by the end of, I guess, you know, as you say, by the end of sort of that that middle of January period. I mean, something like ten games have gone by, and. Uh, 
you know, if we can really get points on the board from those games, you know, it's, it's easy to shoot massively at the table at this time of year. And you never know if Rovers beat York and then they beat Crawley. We might even see you up against Rovers in the new year. Yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's, uh, it's certainly... Never know if football, you, do you? You never, you never know. That would be, that would be something. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thank you.